Where in San Jose can you get the lowest price for the most house? Hi everyone, welcome to our better known neighborhood. In this video is all about where in San Jose you can get the lowest price house for your money. Trump roll please! It's the Alum Rock neighborhood. I'm going to share with you why it's a great place for a starter home or for a profitable investment or even for that upgrading to a dream house. So make sure you watch till the end. If you're not familiar with all the different area named here in San Jose, Alum Rock neighborhood is mostly in the 951 to 70 zip code. This zip code is actually pretty big. It alone can probably be its own CD. I feel it might be even bigger than Lupita's or possibly Aviso. And even within the zip code, you actually have a range of homes as well. And it goes from anywhere with 700,000 for a tiny little house or easily $4 million mansion with the view of Bay Area. It's quite magnificent. Let me share a little story about the district. It formerly was an independent town until it incorporated into San Jose City in the 1950s. It's also home to the Alum Rock County Park, which is one of my favorite local parks and also one of the biggest in the county, guys. If you haven't had a chance to go see this park, highly recommend you go, but do leave your pet at home. The park does not allow dog. So now, let's talk about the pro and con of this area. What I really like about this neighborhood is that it's a great starter place to get into real estate and build your wealth. In the Bay Area, our home price is so high. Santa Clara County alone has an average home price close to two million. For an average home, two million dollars, it's a lot. So for San Jose right now, we're looking at an average home price of around 1.5 million. And in Alum Rock, you can get an average house for roughly half the price, maybe 800 to a thousand to a million dollar for a really good decent home. And it's also depend on the micro neighborhood within this area. There are many areas where it's a little bit crowded and certain neighborhoods that are more quiet that you can still get within that million dollar price point or possibly even under, depending on the condition. With these areas, of course, the rating for schools are not great. Uh, however, you have other options like private school or intra-district transfer. This is also an area where it is fantastic for investing. The price point is low enough so you can actually make some money. And I recently showed an investor a few property here. And one of them actually was near Alabama Avenue and Fleming. And it's a single family home that was making $7,700 per month. That's $92,000 per year per year and I was so impressed by the owner creatively dividing up the rooms and how he rented out the property while he's living in the property as well. So when I invest or when I work with an investor client, this area is one of the first places I looked at. Great price, good profitability for investor. So let's talk about the other end of the spectrum. You can absolutely get a gorgeous newer home, more modern home with a big lot by half the price of areas such as Evergreen, Almaden, or even West San Jose. So for example, right now, there is a mansion over 7,000 square feet up in the Eastwood Hill for 3.4 million with a majestic view. It's quite an amazing property, which I plan on showing to my client later this week. So I might even do a video tour when I go there. So stay tuned for that. And you know, typically the bigger home here in Alum Rocks are my favorite. They are generally built within the last 20 to 30 years. So they are more modern, they have high ceiling, they're gorgeous, beautiful, and big lot. Um, and there are also quite a bit of custom built home here too. And personally, I feel this side of the mountain is better because there are not so much trees surrounding your home like Los Gatos. So there are less risk of wildfire. And although is it a bit harder with less tree around, you know, give and take, but I'd rather not be near wildfire inducing area. So what are the price point for the bigger home? The bigger properties are usually at least 2,500 square feet or more. And most of them are around that 2,800 to 32,000 square feet, 3,200 square feet, excuse me. They usually go for anywhere between 1.8 million to 2.3 million price point right now. And also depending on the condition as well. But you are getting a lot more for your money. And for some of you who think, well, I really don't want to get that 
east of where it's prime university. Well, here is my take on crime. Crime happened everywhere in the Bay Area. Evergreen has a lot more home, robbery, and theft than you realize for a higher-end neighborhood. And it's also, and it's also where in Allen Rock, I feel that when you go up in higher elevations where you know, the bigger homes are, there, there is not as much crime. And the police department is also very aware of the level of crime here. So there are definitely more patrol that I see when I'm in this neighborhood. And I've also been to the neighborhood meeting where, uh, you know, whole team of police show up, the team of robbery to handle all that come, talk about their work, what they do to keep the area safe. Again, you are getting more house for your money. So there are a few things that you do need to live with. Um, one of them being, you know, lower school rating. They also don't have a much after school service as well. There, there are for sure after school where they pick up the kid and do homework but not as much like gymnastic or other activity. Um, and also what I didn't mention is that in this area, you can also get a lot of government assistance for your down payment. They will give you up to 17%. And many of the lender will also give closing costs as well as down payment money as well for your first home in this area in Allen Rock. The house are fantastic. So there you go. That is everything you really need to know about the Alum Rock, the neighborhood, what it's great for. And again, right, personally, I think start a home, fantastic. Area.